Hey everyone, welcome to this Windows channel and this is Patch Tuesday. Oh yeah, we're there already. Second Tuesday of the month, February 9th, 2016 is Patch Tuesday. So if you have Windows Vista 7, 8, 1 and 10, you are greeted today with some security updates. If I look at my security updates that I've received today, uh, of course, cumulative update for Windows 10 version 15.11 based uh, x64, KB3135173. And uh, this, by the way, puts your Windows 10 version to version.104, so 10.586.104. And it contains many, many security items, including also here is a malicious security tool, Windows malicious software removal tool that has updates. And there's a security update for Adobe Flash Player again. And so all of this today. This uh, doesn't look a lot here, but it is divided into 13 different security bulletins. So depending on what version of Windows you're running, uh, you will have different um, numbers of updates. So uh, there's one that resolves 23 flaws in the Adobe Flash Player by updating, fla updating sorry, Flash libraries in Internet Explorer 10, 11, and Microsoft Edge. So uh, that's pretty, pretty big. 23 flaws. There's uh, th these are critical, by the way, meaning that uh, they have been probably uh, used in the wild already. There's a monthly cumulative security fix for Internet Explorer, patching 13 flaws, including remote code execution. So um, they're not patching right away any versions older than IE 11. So you really need to move on to at least Internet Explorer 11. Shows how uh, you are at risk if you use an older version of Windows ex uh, Internet Explorer. Another one is to patch six flaws in Microsoft Edge the most severe could allow RCE if a user browses a malicious crafted web page. So you could have uh, some uh, code that will be actually executed through this. Another one deals with bugs in Microsoft Windows PDF library, the most severe which could allow remote code execution. The security update is rated critical for all versions of Windows that come with PDF reader. So that's Windows 8.1, Windows 10, and Windows Server 2012, and 2012 R2. So uh, that's the first patch for Microsoft's PDF Reader, which isn't too bad if you consider that Adobe's PDF Reader had many patches since then. Core Security, um, there's the most interesting of the bunch. It is because it's refreshing to see someone beside Adobe having a remote code from uh, flaw in PDF. <laughs> uh, there's a patch for remote code execution in Windows Journal for an attacker to successfully exploit this memory corruption bug. A user would need to open a malicious crafted journal file, such as via email. And another one closes holes in Microsoft Office. So if you have Office, you'll have this update. For the important ones, um, they're not critical. Important means you should do it but there's no rush yet. Uh, you have remote code execution uh, and other flaws in Windows. Um, if an attacker were to exploit the most severe hole, he or she could pull off remote code execution, which means you could, you know, basically send some code in your computer and start running a program. Um, that's for sure. So um, there's a uh, hole in Windows um, how web dev validates memory um, that could allow remote code exit or at, this one would allow elevation of privileges so if you're a core user you would be uh, you could be sent to an administrator if you want the one patches Windows remote desktop display driver the flaw could allow elevation of privileges if an attacker logs into the target system so that's another one and um, so there's a few more, you know, there's a local privilege escalation flaw that you can uh, uh, get from the kernel mode drivers. Another one to um, .NET Framework, 
which um, the most severe flaw, according to Microsoft, could cause denial of service if an attacker inserts specially crafted XSLT into a client side XML web part. Uh, denial of service vulnerability in the Active Directory Federation services. Another one squashes a Windows bug that could cause denial of service on a network policy server if an attacker sends specially crafted username strings. So uh, lots of little things uh, that are happening in the uh, Windows update today. If you haven't patched your system, please do so. I have not seen any reports of problems or anything that is uh, bad and doesn't, you know, crashes your computer or anything. But uh, Patch Tuesday today uh, really has a lot of little fixes. So why not check that out as you can uh, have some, uh, of course, flaws exploited by any other means. So in Windows 10, comes in one cumulative update, one Windows malicious software removal tool update, and one security update for Flash. In other systems, you'll have a varying number of updates that will appear in your Windows update uh, computer. If you have any comments, questions, anything, please ask. If you enjoy our videos, want to subscribe, you'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us a thumbs up if you like the videos. And thank you so much for following us on the channel. And stay safe. Update is important.